what's what is something love that you would say I had buy, you've had buyer's remorse over? Can I pass? No. I knew he would say no. Um, okay, so this I I feel I, I'm stuttering because I feel bad about this. So um, it's actually what Thomas bought, <laughs> not what I bought. Um, I I have wanted for a long time a Roomba vacuum, you know, because isn't that the dream? that the house gets cleaned. It's like the Jetsons. Remember the Jetsons and the maid that cleaned for them? Like, that's the dream. And I wanted the dream. And so for Christmas, he provided the dream. He bought I me a Roomba. I was so excited because I'm like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get, she's going to love this gift. It's going to be the yeah. best present ever. And, and I, I did. I bought her the room. She, she, you were excited when you got oh, it. Oh, I was thrilled. I was like, oh, you know, oh, it was, it was the best. And in fact, if any of you are paying attention and remember, at Christmas time here, when he said, what's the best gift you've ever get, been given? I was like, the Roomba. Now, I'm like, buyer's remorse. Okay. Because as it turns out, robots do not clean as well as moms. <laughs> so, um, so I was disappointed it didn't do the job that I wanted it to do. And I'm kind of back to doing it myself. So I was like, oh, the money spent on the Roomba. That's so fine. she had me buy her a different vacuum. Yeah, he did. Could manly use. <laughs> Yes, I do have a different vacuum now. But, um, you know, sometimes, sometimes we do. We get, we get buyer's remorse. Like, this just wasn't worth it. You know, think about those of you who maybe were dieting or something else. And you decide, hey, we're going out or this special occasion or whatever else. So I'm going to have this meal. I'm going to have this dessert. I'm going to have this beverage, whatever else. And then when you get it and you eat it, and it's just like, that was not worth the calories. That was not worth blowing my diet or whatever else. And... All of us, I think, in some way, shape, or form have experienced that buyer's remorse. You know, that, that feeling in your gut when you just know, like, I made the wrong choice. I made the wrong decision. And then that regret sets in. And one of the things that we have to do as parents is we need to teach our kids the value of long-term versus the immediate. And especially in our society, in our culture today, we are just programmed to want everything right now. Right now. And so we often fail to understand and be able to weigh things out properly. See, Esau thought he was weighing out things properly. When he weighed out the birthright and he weighed out the stew, like he thought they weighed, one weighed more than it should have. That it had more value than it really did. He thought he was making a wise choice. Obviously, he was not making a wise choice. Right, and human nature is to satisfy my desires immediately in every aspect of our lives. That is what's called lust. We lust after the food that will satisfy or fill in the blank, right? We want to satisfy our own needs right away and we will give no thought for the future because we want satisfaction immediately. And we do live in like a microwave society. I mean, you can get an Instapot and you can bake a 10 pound turkey in 20 minutes or something like that. It is fast, okay? And um, that's the way we want everything to be right now. But wisdom is to think long-term and not live for today, but to think about how this will affect my future, my family, and future generations, my church, my friends, my neighborhood, whatever. That's, that's wisdom, thinking about what are the consequences to the choices that I'm making. 